Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, been a pretty good day. We're uh, well, started my spraying today. Levi's got his first dairy beef show tomorrow, so uh, I took off work today to do my spraying. Got most of it done. Uh, got the first picking of the last first picking of the yellow corn done uh, corn sales are still strong uh, which is a good thing I know other parts of the world I talked to a gentleman in uh, western Virginia the Galax area yesterday and uh, a friend of mine and uh He's talking about that they, they got a little bit of a glut in the market there on sweet corn. But uh, it appears that I firmed up a contract on some pumpkins, which is a good thing. First delivery date will be September the 15th, which is good. Uh, I, we're, we're still working on the numbers, but it uh, looks like it'd be a good thing. Maybe be a long-term thing. Uh, particular place has been looking for pumpkins and uh, a consistent supplier, so might be able to uh, work something out with them. But, uh, you know, that's, that's farming. You have your good days, you have your bad days. Uh, been having to deal with crazy people. Not necessarily on the farm, but I've been dealing with some Lulus this week. So, uh, man, alive. Must be the full moon. Uh, but, we'll deal with them. It's uh, just the way it is sometimes. Hey, uh, another thing. I don't know how well you can see this tomato. That is a... Uh, that's a new variety of red slicer that's not been released yet. It's the second year my farming partner's grown it. And he's just got a few of them. But that, my friends, is a good tomato. And you can see every tomato on the vine looks about like that. Uh, it does not have a name, it does have a number. I can't tell you what that number is, so uh, I do know what the number is, but I can't tell you. Uh, but anyhow, or where it's coming from, but that is one of the best tomatoes that I've ever eaten, and I've eaten a lot of tomatoes. Like I said, they've got a good vine on them, really good disease package, disease resistance package, and uh, they, uh, they're really good tomato. So, you know, if you're a tomato grower out there, when they name that one or when they release the number on it, I'll, I'll share that with you. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it's early in the development. This is only the second year of trials on that tomato. So, uh, but it's a, it's a dandy. It's, it's good, good tomato. Uh, as far as a red slicer, commercial red slicer got great flavor too but uh anyhow so tomorrow we're going to the we're going to a local county fair a couple counties over levi's going to show his calf along with the rest of the 4-h kids and uh i'm going to go right now and move him down to the folks the advisor's place and drop the calf off and uh we will uh Hit the road with him in the morning, and tomorrow I gotta finish spraying and uh, do some numbers on the pumpkins. I did have a guy tell me today that he saw a bear in one of my corn patches, which is not a good thing. If you've ever seen what a black bear will do to a patch of corn, it's bad. So, uh, oh well. You know, that's part of it. The critters have been bad this year. Lord have mercy, they've been tough. Seems like we've dealt with them all year. But, uh, 
part of it just part of it anyhow if you like what we're doing subscribe to us uh, another youtuber not too far away from me is uh, looking for some sweet corn so I'm gonna hook him up here in a couple days and we may do a uh, joint video so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, his YouTube channel is Just Living. Check him out. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.